Uh, so this is Boston Lloyd has, uh, I'm not sure what's going on, just got the heads up then. We can see uh, this fraud, this guy over here. Look at him, he's just, he's talking about Boston's passed away and he's just, yeah, this is the fake natty world we live in. This is Dave Palumba, the guy who'd sell fake growth hormone to people. Uh, he's pushing his product on the table there. You know, so this is Boston Lloyd, uh, he's passed away, I'm not sure why, but, you know, who knows? I mean, who knows? Straight away, everyone's going to think, oh, it's because of the anabolics. Um, the, 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 not just the anabolics, the high high dosages he was running, and that's definitely, you know, those high dosages can cause a lot of blood pressure. If you're eating a lot of animal protein, animal products, and fats in general, even vegetable fats, animal fats, you know, your blood pressure is going to go up as well. You put it on size, blood pressure goes up, throw in extra red blood cells, blood pressure can go up. So we don't know yet. You know, it could have been could have been side effects from experimental drugs, you know, put out there by his UGL lab or the CDC, etc. So who knows uh, the cause? I guess we'll find out in due course. Uh, but it does. It is a reminder, man. Like life is short. Life is very short. You could die any day. And you know, this is this this is why you got to understand the mentality of a lot of people on social media. They they understand that. They understand that. You know, you could die any day. So you might as well. Do whatever you want to do um, and do that. You know, that's why these people don't understand how rampant steroid usage is in the fitness community. And the fitness community is not even about fitness. It's about aesthetics. It's about making money off noobs by shilling them product. As we see here, this was a stimulizer, whatever that is. It's just probably caffeine for 50 bucks a jar. You know, that's what it's about. It's about getting likes, followers, and money off the back of gullible noobs who think these people are natural or just use a bit of TRT, etc. You guys got, got guys like Aftren X, Will Trennison, Matt Does Trend, etc. All these fake nannies out there just saying blah, 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 blah. You've got guys like more dates, more plates, you know, which is disappointing for a guy like that who people go for information and he's saying, I, I just do TRT. And it's like, dude, you're not just doing TRT. You're still blasting, man. You're still blasting and cruising. Otherwise, if you're just on TRT, you'd lose so much weight, you know, because the dosage is so low. When you know, if you're if you're a person who's built mass, you know, running high dosages, which of course everyone does, who's is that heavy, and you drop back down to a TRT, so 100 milligram, you know, 150, even 200 milligram a week, you, you lose so much weight of muscle. You know, you, you can't maintain high weight on low, you know, high muscle weight on low anabolic compounds dosages you just, you just can't do that anyone who's used gear knows the truth about that but boston lloyd uh, I, I enjoyed boston lloyd's content because he was just so transparent man you know so boston lloyd for me will be remembered for his transparency and while i disagree obviously with his nutrition and, and stuff like that i i agree with his transparency so he is you know he is a transparent dude who got you know just got harassed by the freaking trolls who respect the fake natties. But Boston Lord was out there, man. He was just saying it for how it was. Uh, he was just open about his dosages. So he gets the 10 out of 10 respect. His legacy that he leads behind, he's not another fake natty sociopath shilling product. He is the real deal in terms of transparency. Even though, you know, I disagree with the dosage he's just running. And I disagree with all the animal products he's eating, etc. And these unhealthy animal-based high-fat diets. Okay, we all know that. But his transparency, man. His transparency is his legacy. And in a, a scene full of fake sociopathic narcissists, Boston Lloyd is the king. You know, is the king of transparency. That dude put it out there before anyone else is putting it out there. So he is the king who will be remembered for transparency. Rest in peace, Boston Lloyd. Hopefully your transparency inspires others. Hopefully it does.